How's it going, everybody? Level M Dadcast. We have made it through another week, and today we are bringing you an unboxing of Deutschland Design. This is the second German theme set from Car Culture. This is for 2022 from Hot Wheels. And this might be one of the greatest uh, car culture sets ever released. Uh, we're going to walk through these real quick. And one thing I want you guys to pay attention to is the card art. For a number of reasons, it does look good. It does look good. This is the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter. This is a new casting for 2022. However, this is the second time we've seen this guy. And we will go over the first one when we take a look at this guy. This is the mix on the back. So you just want to take a look at the mix by itself. The DEETS, the assortment codes, all that good stuff. Barcodes, anything else you may want. There you go. Now, you'll notice on this card, it kind of fades into yellow. This is number two in the set. This is the Audi S4 Quattro. You'll see it is yellow. It's going to fade into blue. Uh, this is also the second time we've seen this casting. Uh, first one was in blue. Take a look at that guy as well when we crack the yellow one. Number three in the mix, a personal fave here at level M. This is the Porsche 911 GT3 RS. You see this is blue. Now we're going to move into red. Uh, we have seen this casting in premium a number of times. We'll take a look at a couple of them and kind of put them side by side with this awesome blue. We'll take a look at that guy. Moving into the red, this is a brand new casting for this year. This is the 2012 Mercedes-Benz c63 amg black series and if you want to get even more black with this car look out for the chase piece because this is the chase in the mix he will be numbered zero of five and the card will be black card will, car will be black black wheels blacked out murdered out all good stuff like that we are now going to move into a silver which is the final one of the mix again another new casting this is the 1994 amg mercedes c-class uh, this is not the 190 Evo. Do not get this confused with the 190 Evo. They are two different two different cars. Uh, but Hot Wheels uh, is not the first time that they have done a C-Class touring car. Um, and the Orange brand has done one as well. So we'll take a look at uh, the Orange brand when we crack this guy open. So uh, let's get to chopping. All right, guys. We're going to kick this off. We're going to start with our Mercedes-Benz Sprinter. But we're going to showcase just real quick. This is the first version of the mercedes-benz sprinter that we saw this year uh this is a brand new casting obviously this debuted in the pop culture uh first mix of the year batman themed um it's a it's a pretty nice version i i think that we needed something a little bit more generic i guess you could say and now we get something uh which is exactly that although this guy was pretty good pretty good so this is our deutschland design version this modded custom uh, Mercedes-Benz Sprinter. Now, one thing I can tell you about this casting I'm not a huge fan of is they're using some very large wheels. Um, and that's kind of just kind of how the design is for this casting. It's a little bit designed to be a little bit higher, you know, 4 by 4 style. Kind of Overland style a little bit, which I think is, is a good style. It's just, it's going to take a little getting used to. This version's amazing. It's got carbon fiber hood. Front details, bull bar on the front, You've got great details along the side. It is that dark uh, metallic green, looks super, super good. The taillights are a nice print. I especially like the uh, ladder on the back, looks pretty good. It's a pretty nice detail. There's a, a pretty good amount of metal to this casting, which is which is pretty nice. It does have some step bars on the side as well. And then, of course, it's got plastic on the roof, uh, which is just to kind of keep, uh, keep the weight down, I guess, a little bit. So we like that guy. We like that guy for sure. Number two in the mix is the Audi S4. This is the uh, first time we saw this one. This one was also in the first German mix in blue. This one wasn't all that popular, um, but I liked it. Uh, the casting is perfect. The casting is absolutely perfect. It's an S4 all day. You know, Hobbles just nailed this one on the head. Um, and they did it in a pretty iconic color. Pretty iconic color. So we're going to take a look at our next one in yellow. I especially like this one because I think the chrome wheels are actually a necessity. Typically, here at Level In, we're not a big fan of chrome wheels. But this one is especially nice 
there are no plates or nothing on this guy, but it does have front and rear uh, details as you'd expect. Nice, bright canary yellow looks amazing. The uh, chrome wheels is, I mean, they could have put any design on there and I think it would have worked just fine. The tampo prints on the front really bring out the model. I think this is a little bit better um, execution than the blue one was. I think the blue one would have been better if they didn't choose gray wheels. The gray wheels were just not, not all that great. Not all that great. Now, we're going to move on to a personal fave here at Level M. Now, we have seen the Porsche 911 GT3 uh, in a couple of premium decos. We're just going to showcase those a couple of those real quick. You got your Magnus Walker. This is from the original uh, OG debut of car culture. Uh, and then you have the Forza um, Porsche down there from the uh, Forza set from you know, a few years ago. It's when they had uh, that old school packaging, old school bubble packaging for them. They both look pretty good. Pretty good. You'll notice the uh, white Magnus Walker doesn't have very many prints on it. That's the way old school car culture was. They were very limited prints on there for sure. I'm going to get these guys off here. We're going to take a look at our new one. This is the Deutschland Design Series 2. Porsche 911 GT3 RS. Now, I like this car and I love Porsche. But I'll admit with you, Matchbox absolutely murdered Hot Wheels as far as the casting goes. And uh, I really didn't want to downplay the set i didn't want to downplay hot wheels this is a fantastic model but that's why we are not going to bring out a matchbox 911 gt3 rs because you know we're trying to be nice to hot wheels here this is a video about hot wheels anyways back to the model love the porsche on the side i like the details on the back for the vents that they put the prints on there tail lights look pretty good tail lights look pretty good obviously we've seen this guy with metal spoiler before so that's not new Five spokes look good. I like them in black. They're pretty nice. Front details look good. Full tamples all the way around. Because of course, of course, we love it. We love it. Now, for as much as we love the Porsche, um, this next one's going to be a pretty, pretty nice one. This is a brand new casting for this year. This is the 2012 Mercedes-Benz CLK. AMG Black Series in red. Does have metal spoiler. I think the chrome wheels, again, perfect execution. Don't get me wrong. The chase of this is going to be absolutely insane if I can ever find one. If you find one, kudos to you. Congrats. Glad you guys can get one because that is the best way to enjoy this Black Series is in all black. However, the Black Series did come in more than just black. Um, this is a, a really good casting. It's actually a really, really good casting. I think that Hot Wheels is really out of control with Mercedes because they got the the license back, well, Mattel. And Matchbox is doing it too. And you will hear no complaints from me. No complaints here at Level M because we love Mercedes. We love Mercedes. Now, for as amazing as this casting is, it is not going to be the best in the mix, at least not in our opinion. Uh, I want to showcase real quick a Mercedes C-Class that is of the same era that we're looking at. This is Matchbox Premier. Uh, this is around 95, 96. This is when they had their own uh, sort of kind of car culture, I guess you could call it. Full decos, full tampos, even on the interior. The interiors are fully uh, tempoed up. Uh, Real Rider tires. Um, just, just fantastic stuff. This is the absolute pinnacle of this casting. This casting never looked better than in this premium version right here. Uh, all done up in Mercedes, just absolutely unbelievable. You can even see there is a driver inside because Matchbox is that cool. Now, I guess the question at this point is, did Mercedes allow Hot Wheels to bring that flavor back? And all I have to say is, not only did they bring the flavor back, they turned it up a notch because this casting absolutely murders that C-Class we just looked at. This is absolutely 1,000% best of the bunch. This is the C-Class 94 DTM, full decos, got your D2 on there, absolutely spot on. Casting is perfect. The casting is absolutely flawless. 
All the Tampo prints on there are amazing. They chose an awesome wheel for this guy. Um, interior is done up very nicely. There's a roll cage inside of the casting. You got Tampo prints on the front and rear windows. It is a plastic spoiler, which is a little interesting, but I think it's because it's a very complicated model. It's a very uh, interesting like shape to the wing, so it might be a little difficult for them to try to do that with metal. But what you'll notice too is that there's mirrors on it, which is superb, absolutely superb. The best thing about this casting is there's no qualms about trying to make it a track car, trying to make it good to run on Hot Wheels track or any of that stuff. This is pure collector material, and Hot Wheels did an absolutely fantastic job with this guy. Just absolutely insane. Uh, absolutely best of the bunch, in my opinion. Um, definitely uh, can't wait to see more uh, decos for this guy. So there you go. That is Deutschland Design. We are definitely going to leave our C-Class on there. We're going to throw the AMG uh, DTA, uh, I'm sorry, Black Series on there. Um, we're going to throw the S4 on there. And of course, of course, we're going to put our Porsche on there because it can't, can't live without the Porsche. So there you go. That is the Deutschland Mix 2, I guess you could call it, for 2022. That might be the best car culture set that they've done in a very, very, very long time. Um, I I mean, not even Fast and Furious sets are better. I mean, it's just my opinion. It's just my opinion. I, I have to throw it out there. I absolutely love this set. Absolutely love this set. I'm absolutely in love with every car in here. Such a sweet, sweet job. Thanks, Hot Wheels, for doing a superb job. 2022 is off to a ridiculous start for Hot Wheels. So there you go. Let me know what you guys think about those models. Let me know if you like those models. Come on, you guys know you love these. You know you love them. Especially this guy. Bam, bam, bam. Be the best of the bunch. But we're going to roll out. So we got other stuff to do. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll catch you next time. Level M. Peace.